In tonight's coronavirus coverage, another variant is spreading and with Christmas just weeks away, access to COVID-19 testing is more important than ever. Now there's a second mass testing site in the Spokane area. Emily Bloom explains how it works and what you need to know before you go. Nia, we're out at the Spokane County Fairgrounds where a mass testing site just opened last Friday. Now a big struggle since the start of the pandemic has been getting access to a COVID test when you need one quickly. And now this site is going to be open for everyone through at least the holidays. Sites often start fairly slow as people learn about it. Once they get used to it being there, we'll see more and more people coming through. On day one, 74 people came through to get tested. The stated purpose for the site is for people who are symptomatic or who have had a close contact or uh, exposure, uh, but we know that people are using it for a variety of reasons. Discovery Health expects to see those numbers climb quickly. Especially as we continue into the holidays. This group also organized the mass testing site at Spokane Falls Community College. Currently, that site is averaging almost 300 tests per day. Extremely important to us that uh, people can easily access testing, that there are low barriers to getting tested. The original plan was to open both sites simultaneously, but they struggled to find a location in Spokane Valley. Even now, they won't be here for long. By January, the testing will likely interfere with events already planned at the fairgrounds, so they're already searching for spot number two. Obviously, with some of the new scares, with the new um, the new variants out there. Um, I, I expect that people will be playing it safe for those reasons as well and making sure to get uh, tested before they go around their loved ones. With those emerging variants, this site will continue to be a resource to the community. So when we get a positive result, the lab that does the uh, processing of the tests um, does uh, genomic uh, markers uh, to determine which variant it is. They do hope the community will use them as a resource to keep their families safe this holiday season. And we have information on days, times, and appointments up on our website. That is KXOY.com. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.